Hi everyone, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming and on today's Facebook Live video tutorial, I am going to show you my completed spring banner that I made for my sister's house in Boise, Idaho. Um, I'm going to show you exactly how I made it and I'm also going to show you this cute little idea of how you can make those candle garters that I told you about a few days ago. Um, that sort of coordinate with the look of this banner. So this is a super easy craft, completely affordable. Um, it's one of those crafts that you just get started and then it sort of evolves on its own because I really had no idea where I was going with this until I was actually started. But anyway, sorry for shaking the phone uh, or my video. Um, so as you jump on, tell me hi, let me know where you're watching from. Hey, Diane. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to share those. Um, I love it when people who like this kind of craft sprinkle my videos or sprinkle my page or tell a friend about me. And um, anyway, so I'm going to just jump right in. So we went to Hobby Lobby yesterday and I bought this cute little banner. This is the back of it. It has nine pieces. It was in the burlap section where like the burlap placemats are. It was about $6 and it's all assembled, okay? And there's like nine little little banners. So then I came home and um, I was gonna make a Valentine's Day banner for my sister, but she said she would rather have something spring with flowers. And you guys, coincidentally, I had just bought these two awesome punches that were 40% off at Hobby Lobby. This one is like, uh, can you see? I don't know what to call that shape. It's a circle with sort of a rippled edge. Hey everyone! And this one is more of a flower. This one is bigger, okay? So they were a really good deal. And you guys know how much I have loved my heart punch that I got on Amazon. Well, these are the exact same brand. They just came from Hobby Lobby. I think I saw the heart punch at Hobby Lobby as a matter of fact. So. Um, the first one I did was maybe this one right here. Can you guys see that? So basically what I did is I cut a round circle of drop cloth and I just used hot glue just in a random spot, glued it on. Then I took my um, large hole punch and a piece of cookie tin sheet, the stuff that I love from the Dollar Tree that I've been using like crazy lately and telling you guys about. And I basically just put it in my punch. Let's see if I can do it while I'm live here. And punched a little shape. And this is what you get. Okay, so for this first one, I decided to um, bend it a little bit. So it wouldn't be completely flat against the banner. This stuff is so soft, it's so easy to do. Where do I get the punch? Okay, the punches Deborah came from Hobby Lobby. You can also order them online, but um, Hobby Lobby has a 40% off deal on their punches right now. So run, don't walk to your local Hobby Lobby and grab some. You can also get that heart punch there that I love so much and it's on um, sale as well. So after I, um, going back to the project, after I glued the piece of drop cloth on there, that's painter's drop cloth from my local hardware store. Then I glued my piece of little tin, then using my punch, this smaller one, and some of my beloved sheet music, in more of a wider tone, this is more, this is a newer piece of music. Um, I just punched a little piece with this one and glued it in the center and I, whoops, which one is it? Yeah, it's this one right here. I crumpled it a little bit and then I glued one of my uh, vintage uh, creamy ivory buttons on it. I cut a, clipped a little piece for the stem and I did a leaf. So now what I wanna show you are the rest of the little squares and then I wanna show you how you can use this um, cookie tin and your fingers to make some really nice shapes like a leaf. Okay, so I'll start at the end. So like I said, when I started, I really didn't know where I was going, if I was gonna do every single one or what. And on uh, reflection, I probably, if I'm gonna do this project again, 
I would do a flower on every other little banner that hangs down from this banner thing. Um, but my sister likes it, so we're gonna leave it the way it is. And then the second I get home back to Georgia from Boise, I'm gonna make this same thing for my, for my fireplace. Okay, so this is one end. And all that's different about this one really is that I just took some of this ribbon that I got at Dollar Tree, it's burlap ribbon, and I cut, can you see, I cut a little circle. So I laid down the tin, then a circle of burlap, then the little flower, then a, a button, and then the stem and the, oh, and I did, can you see, I tried to have my little stems go different directions and I put my leaves in different directions. So this is the next one. And then this is the next one. And I took pictures of all of these. So I will share that in a post on DIY Dreaming later today. This one I think is pretty cute because I put the leaf coming out of the center tin thing. This one is my center, okay? This is the, the fifth one in, so it's the center one. And I did two little flowers on that one just to make it stand out with some extra leaves. Isn't that cute? And then this is the one I told you about at the start of this video. Here's another one. I hope this is not uh, blurry or coming in and out of focus, but anyways. This is another one. And I did something different on this one. I made a little circle of um, painter's drop cloth and then I pinched it all together and hot glued it and then I glued it into the center. So it kind of has a little ruffle. And then this is the last one. Okay, so one of the kind of um, cute things about it is how you can bend the tin. And um, this is a little punch of um, a little flower. And I found several different things look cute. One is cute is just to fold like all the little petals up. Can you see how that looks? Then you can also, um, you know, crumple it and, and bend it winky wonky. That's a technical term in case you didn't know that. Uh, so you can do a lot of different things, but for leaves, I just took a piece of the, the cookie tin and I cut out a shape that looks like this. I made this one big so that you could see, okay? And then I kind of, with my fingernails, did the crease down the center of it, like what you would have on a real leaf. And then just using my fingers and pushing it around, I did those little side, um, like the veins in a leaf, sort of. And this is not gonna show up well on uh, this video, but you'll get the idea. And then you just play with it and bend it. And I just use plain old hot glue to attach it. Super easy. Oh my gosh, I have to say, this is one of my favorite super simple craft projects that I've ever done. And if you don't wanna to go to Hobby Lobby, you could do this exact same idea on little burlap squares that you cut out or painter's drop cloth that you cut out or even pieces of paper, sheet music, pretty scrapbook paper. Okay, I'm all for using what you have and what is easy. Um, so I wanted also to show you these cute little candle um, banners that I made, candle um, garters that I made. And a few weeks ago in one of my quick tips, I showed these. Oh, thank you guys for sprinkling. You guys are so awesome. Um, I really appreciate it. Where do you suggest to hang them? Well, I think the fireplace is awesome, like under your mantle. And, um, you know, when we first moved into our house, we put those little white cup hooky things for our stockings underneath the lip of the mantle. And we've left them there. You can't see them um, during the rest of the year, but we hang our stockings on there at Christmas. And that's where I hang my banners. But you, um, if you have a pretty window, you could put it on that. Uh, over a pretty mirror like in your entry. Honestly, you can put them wherever you want. Right behind me is a little thing that I made for my sister yesterday and I just hung it on her china closet. So, I mean, you can just put little things here and there. Now, one thing I do wanna tell you is that I would not 
do a whole banner of with this tin and sheet music and then also do a bunch of candles on your mantle that have the same pieces or component or idea because it's overload and at my house when i recreate this idea at home i probably will do every other little banner with the flowers um, but anyways okay back to this so on this one you can see it's just the large punch with the cookie sheet then a round of burlap and that's that cheap but it's awesome you guys should go to Dollar Tree and get this ribbon. It's really awesome. Oh, and also I got this at Dollar Tree. And this is wired burlap ribbon with black polka dots. Super cute. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I love this. Um, okay, so then I put a little piece of burlap on here and then I put a little piece of um, the sheet music flower, a button. And um, I wanna take this off so I can show you how I attached it. It's not permanent and it's not gonna hurt my sister's candles. So as soon as I leave to go back home, if she really doesn't like this stuff, she can take it all down and I will never know. Okay, so basically what I did is I just used my whole punch, um, just one of these little guys, you know, from the office supply store to punch two holes on either side of the little silver, um, the little tin big flower. And then I just ran some burlap through it and tied it in a knot on the back of my candle. Okay, that was one. And this is the exact same idea, but sort of in reverse with the paper big thing and tied in a little knot on the back. And then this one, just to be different, I did a square of the tin and then I did a little um, flower and I just used hot glue and then I put the um, the twine through the back and tied it in the bow in a bow on the front anyways I hope that you guys like these ideas and one thing I really hope is that you will take this and use it so it fits into your style like if you like bright colors then you could get some bright colored scrapbook paper um, I mean, you can just take this idea and run with it and make it your own in your own style and your, in your own colors. And if you do, I would love it if you post pictures here in this conversation thread or every Wednesday I do a post on DIY Dreaming that says what you're working on. And I love it when you guys put your pictures of the projects that you're working on there. In fact, I um, will be doing that tomorrow on Wednesday. And I also did it last Wednesday. So if you have something fun that you'd like to share with everybody that follows DIY Dreaming, um, go back to last Wednesday's What You're Working On and put it, post a picture of what you're doing and instructions or do it this Wednesday, either way. But I love it when you guys share with me, so keep doing that. So that's pretty much all I want to tell you today. Thank you guys for watching. Um, feel free to sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh, that helps me with all the Facebook analytics, which is something I don't quite understand. But um, anyways, and um, take a look up above on my DIY Dreaming homepage to double check that you've actually liked the page and not just one of these posts and um, that you followed it. And that way, when I go live again and when I share lots more craft projects, which I have, I'm going to do something fun this afternoon with my sister. She's going to be on my video with I'm going to do something fun with these two pieces that I just got at the Dollar Tree in Boise. So if you want to always see what what kind of um, craft projects I'm doing, then make sure that you like and follow this page. All right. Thanks for watching. I will be DIY dreaming about all kinds of fabulous new projects that are quick, um, super simple, don't have a ton of ingredients. They are super affordable. They're usually a little unusual and they don't require any artistic abilities. I'll be DIY dreaming up a whole bunch of that kind of stuff for you next time. Thanks.